In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CaNO32 plus Na3PO4. This is calcium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. First thing we need to do is we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. Our coefficients are 3, 2, 1, 6. If you need some help balancing this, there'll be a link in the description of this video. Once we've got the molecular equation balanced, Next, we're going to write the states for each substance. So nitrates are very soluble. They'll dissolve in water, break apart into their ions. So we write a little AQ. Sodium compounds as well, very soluble. Write a little AQ there. Calcium phosphate probably should look that up on a solubility table just to make sure. So if we look on the table, here's calcium and then phosphate. So if we go over and down, this I, that means it's insoluble. If it's insoluble, it's not dissolved. It's at the bottom of the test tube. It's a solid. So we're going to write S for solid. This would be a precipitate. You mix these two chemicals together. This falls to the bottom. Sodium compounds and nitrates also very soluble. Little AQ there. So these are the states for each of the substances. Next, we split the strong electrolytes. Those are the things with aqueous apart into their ions. So let's do that. Calcium's in group two on the periodic table. That has a two plus ionic charge. And then the nitrate ion, NO3, that has a one minus. Good one to remember. So let's split this up. We have Ca2 plus, and we have three of these. So we have three Ca2 plus. I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write the states in right now. Plus we have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And we have two nitrate ions times three. 2 times 3 is 6, so we have 6 nitrate ions. We said sodium was a 1 plus. The phosphate ion, if you look that up, that's 3 minus. So we have our sodium ion here, Na plus. We have 3 of them times the 2, so we have 6 of those. And then our phosphate, the PO4, 3 minus. That's a good one to memorize. We have 2 of those. Put a 2 as our coefficient. These are the reactants. Now we can write the products. This is calcium phosphate. We're not going to split that up because it's a solid. So in net ionic equations, we don't split the solids up. They aren't split up in the solution there at the bottom of the test tube. So let's write that Ca3PO42. Sodium was positive, nitrate negative. We have the Na plus sodium ion, and we have six of those. And the nitrate, NO3 minus, we have six of those. So we have what is called the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions on both sides of the equations, and that'll give us our net ionic equation. So let's see, 3Ca2 plus on the reactants. We don't have that on the products. We do have six nitrate ions here and six here in the products. So we cross those out. Six sodium ions here in the reactants, and then six in the products. We can cross those out. Everything else is unique though. So we now have our net ionic equation. We have our three calcium ions, two phosphate ions, and then we have our solid calcium phosphate. So I'll clean this up and write the states in, and then we'll have a nicely formatted net ionic equation for CaNO32 plus Na3PO4. And this is the net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.